Madison, honey. James and Angela are on the way to your place today, just so you know. Remember to take good care of your sister-in-law's kids like your own, or else prepare to face consequences. Oh, my bad. I forgot that you don't have any children yet. <laughs> oh, hi, Mom. Um, please don't get me wrong. I love Anne's kids more than anything in the world, and I would love to look after them, but I'm pretty busy today. I would appreciate it if you could let me know in advance if you're planning to bring the kids to my house. What if I'm not home? Busy? What on earth are you busy with other than locking yourself up in your room day after day? I know you're home. Where else could you be? Another thing? Why do I have to tell you in advance about Anne's kids coming to your house? You're her sister-in-law, not a stranger. Of course you should have been prepared to help out. It's common sense. Mom, you know that I'm a freelance web designer. This means that I work from home, and I don't have a traditional 9-to-5 job. Working from home doesn't mean that I'm sitting around doing nothing all day, you know. I have a lot of work to do, and I often work long hours. I have to meet deadlines, just like anyone else who works in a traditional office. Seriously, darling daughter-in-law. As your mother-in-law, I do think you should get out more and have a life of your own. Otherwise, you'll just become an old hag and my son will leave you for someone younger and more interesting. Honestly, I always wonder what my son saw in you. You're incompetent, lazy, and you always find excuses to slack off on your duties as a wife. But no matter how much I want it, I can't just go back in time and stop my son from marrying you. Isn't that true? <laughs> Mom, I'm really hurt by what you just said. It's not fair to me that you would say something like that. Especially when I've never done anything to you to deserve it. Oh, don't take everything so seriously, Madison. I was just joking around with you, my foolish daughter-in-law. But seriously, you should really look up to your sister-in-law, Anne. Not only is she young and full of life, but she also managed to get herself a well-respected job with a high salary. My daughter, Anne, is the kind of woman that every man dreams of. Liam is one lucky man to have married Anne. Compared to my daughter, you're nothing but a worthless little thing waiting to be thrown in a trash can. <laughs> I'm kidding. Or am I? Why are you saying these things to me, Mom? You're hurting my feelings. I'm not going to continue this conversation if your only intention is just to insult me like this. Honey, I'm not insulting you at all. I'm too much of a lady for that. I'm just simply letting you know what I really think of you. But enough about that. I know I could go on and on about how useless you are as a wife, but I don't have the time and energy. The kids are staying with you today. Me and Angela have other plans. Like what, Mom? Are they really important? Of course they are. Today is our spa day and we also have to have our nails and hair done. Cause unlike you, who doesn't care about her appearance and always looks like a hot mess, your sister-in-law and I know how to take care of ourselves and turn heads wherever we go. After that, we're planning to attend a yoga class in the afternoon. It's always important to keep our bodies healthy, don't you think? Of course, you wouldn't know anything about that since you're too busy being a slob. That's what you call important things to do? Mom, please have some understanding for my situation. I'm kind of swamped with work right now, and I'm afraid I can't keep an eye on them as much as I'd like. Do you think that we can find another way to do this? Oh, please, don't exaggerate. I know you're the only person in our family who doesn't have a proper job and stays at home most of the time, so you're obviously perfect to look after Anne's children. I mean, who else will be able to take care of them? Someone who actually has a job and responsibilities like my daughter? <sighs> please, that would be ridiculous. Why not? Anne is their mom, so it's common sense that she should be the one who takes care of her own kids, not me. And need I remind you what happened last time they came to my house? I do love kids, but James and Angela are quite a handful. They're always getting into things and breaking them. They broke my favorite vase, they spilled paint all over the carpet, and they even managed to get my dog sick. It took me and my husband hours to clean up after them, and it also cost us a lot of money to replace the broken items. I know they're just kids, but I'm starting to get really tired of their destructive behavior. Madison, I didn't know you were such a selfish person. James and Angela are just little innocent kids. They don't even know what they're doing. 
How can you blame them for the minor damage they caused to your house? Such trifles aren't even worth mentioning. Minor damage? It took me and my husband hours to clean up after them. And it also cost us a lot of money to replace the broken items. I know they're just kids, but I'm starting to get really tired of their destructive behavior. God knows what they would do to my house this time around. No worries, sweetheart. If anything wrong happened, just give me or Anna a call and we'll help you handle everything. Don't you see? We're such kind people. You should be grateful to have me and Anna as your mother and sister-in-law. Well, I don't think so. Last time I checked, neither you nor Anne showed up to help me clean up the mess that your kids caused, despite my countless texts and calls. Don't you remember? We were playing tennis and we couldn't hear you calling. How is that supposed to be our fault? Seriously. Just admit that you're lazy and you're trying to shirk off your duty as a daughter-in-law by refusing to watch over James and Angela. You already failed as a wife, now you're also failing as a responsible sister-in-law? <laughs> That's just great. What are you talking about? I'm not lazy. I just don't want anything in my house to be damaged and no one takes responsibility for it. It's me and my husband who had to pay money out of our pockets to fix everything. What's even worse, Anne didn't even say or do anything about it. She totally ignored what her children caused us and made it seem like it was no big deal. I'm not sure what you're accusing me of, but I'm not lazy. I'm just trying to protect my home and my belongings. Do you really expect my beloved daughter to pay for all that? She has two children and she has more bills to pay for and many other things to worry about. On the contrary, you and Lucas haven't even had any children of your own, so I'm sure that you're perfectly capable of paying for all those tiny damages yourself. But please, do correct me if I'm wrong. In the end, disobeying your own mother-in-law is your most favorite activity in the whole world. Am I correct? Why do you think that we're fine paying for the damages on our own? We're not made of money, you know. We have bills to pay and other things to worry about. Besides, just because we don't have any kids at the moment, doesn't mean that we won't in the future. In fact, we're saving money so that we can provide our children with the best care that we can give them. It's not fair to expect us to pay for the damages that Anne's children caused. They're the ones who are being destructive, not us. You having kids? Oh, Madison, Madison. That's the most hilarious thing I've ever heard. Stop deluding yourself. We both know that you're unable to conceive a child. I know that you're infertile and you've been dealing with it for years now. That's why you can't have a child of your own. What a worthless daughter-in-law you are. I raised my son with nothing but love and care. And this is how he repays me? By marrying a woman like you? Ugh, such a disgrace. You're nothing but damaged goods. Do you hear me? What? Who told you that? When do you plan to stop fooling me? How dare you keep a serious matter like that a secret from your own mother-in-law, you witch? You don't contribute anything to your family's income and make Lucas cover all the expenses, but you're also unable to give our precious son a child he always deserves? Look at yourself in the mirror. Does a woman like you have any use? But on second thought, it's all the more reason for my son to dump you, and I can't wait until that day. I'm not infertile, mom. I just have a minor disorder that makes it difficult for me to get pregnant. But I'm working with my doctor, and we're confident that we can overcome this. Don't even dare to call me your mom. Do you think I'm naive enough to actually believe in what you just said? You've been given five years and still no grandchildren for me. Completely useless. But I'm a generous woman, so I'll give you one last chance to redeem yourself. Give me a child as soon as possible or else I'll tell Lucas to kick you out of the house immediately. Well done taking care of James and Angela yesterday. You did a great job. I didn't even have to ask them to know how happy they were when they got to stay at your house yesterday. I hope they didn't make a mess out of anything like last time. Well, I tried my best to keep an eye on your children and do my work at the same time. Thank God it didn't go like last time. Hey, about the damages, I think I want to help share the burden with you and your husband by paying back some of the money. What do you say? You want to pay me back some money? Are you sure, Anne? If that's the case, then it's really nice of you to do so. Of course not. I was just joking. <laughs> do you seriously believe that I'm going to pay compensation for the damaged furniture in your house? No way. You're just as naive as I thought of you, Madison. What a silly woman. 
You're already 35 and you don't even have any clue about how this world works. What? That wasn't funny at all. You don't know how much me and my husband had to pay for every little thing that your kids destroyed in our house. Well, 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 I couldn't care less. But don't think the fun is over just yet. You'll have plenty more time to spend with James and Angela when our whole family goes on a vacation next week. The whole family goes on a vacation next week? Why didn't I know about any of it? Oh, so mom didn't tell you anything? What a shame. I thought you already knew. Well, me, my parents, and my husband Liam will also join this vacation trip together. Without you and your husband, of course. My kids are still little and they still have school to attend, so they should be staying home. And you? You already stay at home 24-7 anyways, so I think it won't be too much of a deal to look after James and Angela, right? What? Why did anyone tell me about this? I'm totally caught by surprise. This isn't fair to me and my husband at all. Welcome to the real world where nothing is fair. <laughs> well, of course you can't blame anyone else but yourself for not being able to give your husband a child. It's your fault that he's losing his place in this house. As opposed to me, who managed to give my beloved mom two beautiful angel-like children. To tell you the truth, you've become nothing but a pain in the neck to my mom. If it hadn't been for your husband, you would have been kicked out of the house a long time ago. Why do you think that I can't have a child? Oh please, stop trying to deny it. Angela told me everything. When she was in your room the other day, she found your test results and other documents related to your medical condition. She took a couple of pictures and sent them to me. What a shocking revelation. I wonder how long you intended to keep it a secret from everyone. I mean, really? You thought you could just hide this from us? You thought we wouldn't find out? What? Why did Angela rummage through my belongings without my permission like that? Well, I told her to do so because I had a hunch that you were hiding something from me and mom. And I was totally right. But after all, Angela is just a little girl. So how can you blame her for that? If you do, it only shows how petty of a person you are. So you're the one who snitched me out? You're the one who told Aurora about my medical condition? I'm her daughter. Of course I have to tell her. Especially if it's something as serious as you being infertile. I guess you'd be green with envy whenever you see my beautiful, healthy children running around, wouldn't you? I mean, it's not like you could ever have children of your own. But don't be too embittered. Maybe you can take a tour to the orphanage to adopt a kid and call them your own. I'm not so sure if Lucas would agree to that idea. Or he'd just throw a fit and throw you all out of the house. <laughs> I'm not infertile. What are you talking about? I just have a little problem with my ovulation due to stress, that's all. And it will soon be resolved. Save your breath. I'm not the one with whom you need to explain yourself. Enough about that. Remember to take good care of James and Angela while I enjoy a relaxing vacation alongside mom and other people in our family. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some shopping to do to prepare myself for the upcoming trip. Honestly. I don't want to go but mom insisted that I do so we can spend some quality time together. Oops, I almost forgot. The house will be empty when we're gone, so remember to look after it. Keep it clean and organized until we get back. No, I'm not watching over your kids anymore and I certainly won't look after the house. First of all, no one told me anything about the vacation. I didn't even know you were going away until you just told me now. Second of all, they're your kids, so it's you who has to take on the responsibility of looking after them. I'm not a punching bag. I also have my own life and many other things to take care of. I don't have time to babysit your kids, and I'm not going to do it anymore. Last time I agreed to watch over your kids, they destroyed my things and rummaged through my belongings without my permission. Don't expect me to take care of everything when you and mom just lays about like that. I'm not your servant, and I'm not going to be taken advantage of anymore. What? Are you seriously saying no to little kids like James and Angela? They're your niece and nephew. What a cold-blooded monster! My brother is such an unlucky person to get married to a woman like you. Well, call me what you want, but this time around, I'm not backing down anymore. You can hire a house sitter, babysitter, for all I care. You think you're so tough, huh? 
I'll just drop my kids off at your house unannounced. See what you can do. Do you dare to leave them outside all day? I bet not. You'll have no other choice but to let them in. I'm sure about that. Hi, Lucas. I know you're busy on your business trip, but things going on at home are getting worse and worse and worse, and I seriously don't know how to handle them. Hey, honey. What's the matter? Just tell me. Of course I'm on my work trip, but I still have all the time in the world for you whenever you need me. That's what husbands are for, right? Thank you, darling. I never want to concern you, but Anne has been coming across as really pushy lately. You know, my workload has become heavier and heavier these days. So I seriously don't have time or effort to deal with Anne's behavior. My sister? What did she do to you? You know she dropped her children off at her house a few times before, right? Yeah, I love kids, but James and Angela are definitely something else. They wrecked stuff in our house and their parents didn't even say sorry to us. I know you told me that we shouldn't demand compensation from Anne because she's still family. However, being family doesn't mean being irresponsible. Anne, I still expect her to pay for the damages that her kids caused to our house. But what else did my sister do that bothers you? These days, her behavior is getting worse and worse. She didn't even bother to give me a heads up before dropping off the kids to our house. She just abandoned her kids at our doorstep and drove away without a second thought. She didn't even bother to take a look back and see what happened to them. When I opened the door, Anne had already gone, leaving her kids behind like they had nothing to do with her. What is that attitude? Does she even consider herself a mother anymore? She can't even take care of her own kids? She thinks that her children are some kind of burden or what? I know, right? She even told me earlier today that she and other people in our family would be going on a vacation soon and she needs me to take care of her kids and her house. What? She really told you that? That's unacceptable. You're not her housekeeper and certainly not a babysitter to her kids. So why should you do all of that? I know, that's totally absurd. But she told me that she's just going to drop her kids off at our house without telling me beforehand. What should I do in that case? I can't just leave her kids outside all by themselves. But if I let them in, she'll keep taking advantage of me. No, don't do that. You know what they say. If you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. I will not allow my sister to further take advantage of your kindness anymore. This has to stop. I know, Lucas, but it's not that easy because your mom also takes her side. I know that if I tell Anne that I'm not home, mom will call me immediately and give me a dressing down which she usually does whenever I refuse to do something that I don't want to. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? I know that my mom always blindly spoils my sister, but this is too much. She's not supposed to order you around like that. She's your mother-in-law, but that doesn't mean she can tell you to do her bidding, especially something rather absurd like taking care of Anne's kids. Anne is a grown woman. She decided to get married and start a family on her own, so she has to take responsibility for her actions. I know what you're saying is true, but what should I do now? I'm really stuck between a rock and a hard place. Look, don't be too concerned. I'll head home tomorrow and we'll find a way to fix all of this. Trust me, everything will be just fine. Explain to me what this is all about. Why all of a sudden you and Lucas decided to go on a vacation together. You should be at home to take care of Anne's kids in her house so that she can join us on our trip. And why should I? I already told Anne and now I'm not hesitant to repeat myself. I'm not going to let her take advantage of me and my husband anymore. It's her kids, so she has a responsibility to look after them, not me. Besides, it's not difficult to find a babysitter nowadays, you know? What? Do you really expect my daughter to waste her hard-earned money to hire some stupid babysitters? And what do you do? You don't have kids. You don't even have a job. You're just staying at home for days on end and leeching off my son. Your daughter's hard-earned money? Please. She's already been fired from her job for at least two years. And from what I heard, she's still currently jobless now. What did you say? My daughter was fired? When did this happen? You're lying. I've never heard her say anything about this before. This is complete nonsense. You're just trying to make us turn our backs on each other. 
Yeah, my husband accidentally found out about Anne's unemployment, but Anne insisted that Lucas should keep it a secret from you. You mean that my daughter has been lying to me the whole time? I can't believe it. How could she betray me like that? I was so proud of her high-paying job that I bragged about it to everyone I knew. I even helped her keep her secret safe, but this is what she did to repay me? And what exactly is the secret that you're talking about? Let me guess, it's Anne having an extramarital affair, correct? N no, what, what on earth are you even saying? My daughter is not that kind of person. Don't make stupid assumptions like that, or else I'll sue you for slandering my daughter's reputation. Well, it's not an assumption, it's a fact. When I heard that Anne lost her job, I was just as surprised as you were. Because if she was actually fired, then how come she didn't even have enough time to take care of her children and have to drop them off at my house so often? That's why I decided to ask some of her friends to get more information. And surprisingly enough, I found out that she's been cheating on her husband this whole time. What? What did you say? So you already figured it out? I guess you already knew about that. But you chose to help your beloved daughter cover that bad deed, is that right? Imagine if Anne's husband, Liam, finds out about this. How would he react? I'm just dying to know. I really am. <laughs> what? Don't you dare say anything about this to Liam. It would destroy my daughter's marriage. I know you wouldn't be heartless enough to do it, would you? After all, we're still a family, right? And families should help each other out in times like this. Family? I already stopped considering you or Anne my family a long time ago. What did you ever do other than take advantage of me and treat me like dirt? I bet you never once considered me your daughter-in-law. I already told Liam about Anne's affair. Man, was he furious. Sorry, not- I also told my father-in-law about how you had been helping Anne hide her little secret, and he's seriously not happy about it. So you should also prepare yourself to face his anger too. Liam's face flushed a deep crimson as he listened to the news that his wife, Anne, had been cheating on him. His eyes widened in disbelief, and his jaw dropped open. He was so shocked that he could barely speak. Liam's anger boiled over. He started shouting at Anne, calling her all sorts of names. He demanded a divorce, and he told her to get out of his house. The revelation that Anne had been caught cheating on Liam had a devastating impact on the entire family. The vacation that had been planned for Aurora and Anne was cancelled, costing them a great deal of money. Aurora argued heatedly with my father-in-law, who had long been opposed to his wife's overindulgent parenting style. Anne having an affair was the last straw for my father-in-law, and he finally decided to divorce my mother-in-law. As a result, my mother-in-law was forced to move out of the house. Having nowhere else to go, my mother-in-law and Anne took refuge at a relative's house. However, it was not long before they were ostracized because the relatives could not tolerate their laziness and misbehavior. Lucas and I are living the best time of our lives. After years of hard work, we finally had the opportunity to travel the world and experience new things together. As the stress of work gradually faded, we found ourselves more relaxed and at peace than ever before. We were able to focus on our relationship and enjoy each other's company without any distractions. And then, as if things couldn't get any better, life finally blessed us with a child. <laughs>